guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Bree's Books again for another video. Today I decided I would like to do the most disappointing books I read last year in the year 2015. A lot of people have been doing this, um, did it like earlier in the year and I decided I wanted to sh share a few books that I was really looking forward to reading and they just didn't quite live up to my expectations. Could be on me, could be on the hype. I don't know, regardless, I didn't like them as much as I wanted to. So the first couple I don't own, so I can't, don't have them to show to you. Um, but the first one I read for um, Booktubeathon last August, I believe. It was Why We Broke Up um, by Daniel Handler. I really wanted to love it. Um, I just didn't enjoy like any of the main characters. I liked the side characters, but the main characters I just didn't like. I liked how the book was put together and I enjoyed the writing, but I just didn't like the main characters. So I only gave that one, ended up giving that one two stars when I read it. The other one that I don't have with me anymore was Hyperbole and a Half. Um, and that's the um, like short story memoir thing that was supposed to be really funny. And I, I did enjoy parts of it. I ended up giving it three stars. So I did like it okay, um, but it definitely wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. It had a lot um, of backstory about the author's like depression and all this stuff. And so I really wanted to like it. I thought it was going to be super funny and there were parts that were super funny, but more that were just meh for me. And then the last two books I want to mention I do actually have copies still with me because I did like them enough to keep them, at least for the moment. Um, the first one I'm going to mention is Reawakened by Colleen Houck. I have read all of her other books, the entire Tiger's Curse series by her, and I loved it. Um, at least when I read it, I didn't. I haven't reread it in a long time. Um, and this was another series um, by her. This is the first book that came out in August. So as I was saying, this, takes, this series takes place... Um, in Egypt and is based around Egyptian mythology and it was just sort of repetitive for me after reading the Tiger's Curse series like it seemed like um, a lot of the character dynamics were similar and like I, the, the main character was just seemed really immature to me and maybe this is a sign that I am getting more selective with my YA read. Still ended up enjoying it. I, get, I still gave it four stars but after being so excited about this, about her new book, after reading, after loving the Tiger's Curse series so much, this is just kind of a letdown um, overall. I really enjoyed the Egyptian mythology and everything, just the the characters sort of, and it's a bit too similar, in my opinion, to the, the Tiger's Curse series. Didn't see a lot of differences and didn't enjoy the character very much. Last book I'm going to mention for my most disappointed read of 2015, Please Don't Hate Me, is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I know, I know so many people love this book and love this duology, and I still ended up giving it four stars as well, but after hearing all the hype that came around this book, I was so excited to read it, and I just felt sort of like expecting more from it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not a huge contemporary person, but people kept saying how much they loved Laura Jean and I just didn't really like her that much. I loved her little sister so much more than her and um, the family uh, dynamic was like my favorite part of this book. I didn't really care about any of the rest of the story very much and I like checked the sequel out from the library and I just didn't end up reading it. I just turned it back in because I didn't care. I didn't care to read conclude this duology. I'm really sorry about that. This is your favorite book. I have more power to you. It just it just wasn't for me. I mean it was still I still enjoyed it. Um but I'm not gonna plan on I'm not planning on finishing this duology anytime soon. So those are some of the books I read in 2015 that were sort of a letdown, and that's just my personal opinion, that's just the moon I was in when I read it, or extenuating circumstances that made that happen. Hope if you've read these books that you at least enjoyed them enough 
to not be disappointed by them. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Read more books. Bye-bye.